Welcome back, Kravitz community. And right now, I'm doing an individual review of these babies. Narciso Rodriguez for him EBT. And here are 8 things that you need to know about this. So stay tuned. First thing that you need to know. This is made by Francis Kirk John. You know, the man responsible for the mall and a whole host of other scents who has his own house as well. Second thing that you need to know about this, how does it smell like? Well, we've gotten reports from Fragrantica and other fragrance review sites such as Basinals and Parfumi.net that users of this have this have felt that uh, it smells like wet cement hit by rain. It's not too far off. I get the wet cement vibe off of these. I also get this um, crispy violet leaves, which gives uh, greenness for this uh, fougeres. By the way, this is Kurt John's reinterpretation of the 80s fougere. So true to its uh, true to its genre, the greenness of the violet leaves is there. The wet patchouli is there. Also, the musks that were used in this was really superb as well as the sweetness, the little sweetness of the amber at the base. So third thing that you need to know about this, the occasion, when to use this, what to wear. Well for me, this one, EDT by Mercedes Rodriguez, it feels like it's quite a serious scent, it's not a fun cheery scent, so I could recommend you wear something with collar, maybe your suit and tie, Really formal events, maybe closing business deals. This would this would smell really formal, really refined. It's I dare say that this is niche smell. Fourth thing that you need to know about this: the price. Well, for now, as we can see in eBay or other online selling sites, who has this? This is quite affordable. I mean, it's under a hundred dollars. Um, I got mine, 100 mil, here in Rustans for like about, I don't know, 5.5, five. but yeah, I mean, you could get it cheaper, let's say $80, $70, there's no reason for you not to cop this one. And I remind you, after 3 or 4 years, this is, actually, right now it's getting really hard to source this one, but 3 or 4 years from now, I tell you, the prices of these would shoot up. This is niche quality. This is one of the best fougeres around, be it niche designer, on cheapies, drugstores, or independence. This is one of the best fougeres out there and you don't want to miss it. So grab this right now. Fifth thing that you need to know about this, the projection. I love projecting. I love this sense when it projects on me. It has shall I say, vicious. It has a vicious projection. Even if I don't want to choke my office mates or, you know, my workmates with these, they still, they still smell me from afar. I mean, how's that for projection? Actually, um, my previous office mate, well, she's, she's kind of annoyed with me when I, when I go next to her uh, desk because I overpower her Bulgari perfume with this one. I literally eat her perfume with this. So for projection, I say maybe three, four, five persons from you, they could easily smell this. So how set for projection? Sixth thing that you need to know about this, it's siage. Well for the siage, it leaves a very beautiful scent trail, a fougere scent trail. Actually, I think they could they could detect where you are, even if you're hiding, as long as you're wearing this. So, for a siage, I get no complaints. A really, really nice siage. Seventh thing that you need to know, longevity. How does this last on my freaking acidic skin? In my skin, it lasts, well, you name it, seven, eight, nine hours. It's, I think it's sufficient for the whole uh, work day. It would suffice if I wear this on a date or if I wear this meeting a client. I think this would suffice for that. I mean, eight, nine hours, huh? 
how long would you want your perfume to last? I, I need to take a bath as well, right? Eight thing you need to know about this. Am I recommending this or not? Well, given its price to value ratio, it is a performer, it projects, it leaves a scent trail, and it lasts really long on my skin. I mean, even just for the bottle, just look at these models, man. Aren't they cool? I mean, so minimalistic and so classy. And it actually interprets the scent. It's gray, it's brooding, it's cold, it's calculated. And yeah, I think there's no doubt I would definitely recommend this. As you've seen my last video, this one is on my 4-4 uh, Life Fragrances. Please check out that one if you haven't seen it. Link is right here. So there you go. Those are the 8 things that you need to know about Narcissa Rodriguez for him. I highly recommend you pop this right now. One of the best Fougeres in the game right now. So yeah, these are just my recommendations, opinions, and suggestions. And at the end of the day, you do you. This has been your host Alex and yes, I am out. I'll see you in the next episode.